Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel. And yes, in honor of Red Panda Day, Planet Zoo has, uh, has just released a new animal reveal, and that is, of course, none other than the Red Panda. Now, this is a very, very cute little... A uh, little, little panda here for us to be able to put into our exhibits and design for them. Um, I think I, I am really, really fortunate to be so close to Zoo Knoxville, particularly because you guys know that's kind of like my home zoo and where I'm able to go to the most. But um, inside the Zoo Knoxville, they have an area called the Boyd Family Red Panda Village. And more red pandas have been born in Knoxville than at any other zoo in the world. They think it has a lot to do with the, with the, uh, with the climate that they're used to, kind of Knoxville. Eastern Tennessee, kind of like this plateau uh, that they're on, is really, really similar to um, you know to their native habitat, kind of like Nepal and and those areas um, over there in in the far far east. So their red list status, they are endangered, and I figured, courtesy of um, courtesy of Live Signs, I could go through here and give you guys some interesting facts about red pandas so i like like they start out here the red pandas are small mammals with long fluffy tails and red and white markings though they share a name with their more famous giant panda they are not closely re related in fact the name panda was first applied to these animals and not the larger black and white bear they said that a um they go on to say a french zoologist actually uh f was one of the first people to um to see a red panda or, you know, to describe it in 1825. And it wasn't until about 50 years later um, that the giant panda that, you know, that we all, that everybody knows um, was actually cataloged. And that, uh, that French zoologist, Frédéric Cuvier, uh, he called it the most beautiful animal he had ever seen and named it Alerius Fulgens, meaning fire colored or shining cat <laughs> so yeah there's a, they've got a lot of pretty neat information on here i will uh i will link this down below very very cool article it says red pandas were at first classified as relatives of raccoons uh because of the physical similarities such as the head teeth ring tail um according to the smithsonian but later because of some dna simula similarities they were classified as bears but that isn't where their little story ended recent genetic research shows actually they're in their own family they have no living relatives it said the smithsonian According to them, their nearest fossil ancestor lived three to four million years ago. So these guys are definitely um, one in the uh, one in the own. And the red pandas, it says they're similar to size to common house cat, as you can see kind of in my little quick video here I got over at the red panda village, uh, 20 to 26 inches tall. Um, and then they, uh, it says red pandas have large, large round heads and short snouts with large pointed ears uh, their coats are reddish brown although their faces are mostly white with reddish tear tracks extending from their eyes to the corner of their mouths and uh, then to just wrap up here it says the one feature that the red pandas do share with giant pandas is a uh, modified wrist bone that acts like a thumb it helps them grasp like bamboo bamboo and all that um, when they're feeding so yeah guys they have uh, kind of like a put us up on a pretty interesting pretty cool little creature for uh, for a saturday morning and we uh, we know we are ever ever getting closer to the beta here just a few days away now and uh, i don't know if this guy will make it into the beta um like that like they've said some animals are going to keep uh secret some animals i think they've even said some animals that we have already seen uh d does not necessarily mean they'll be in the beta so there is going to be a select uh, amount of animals for the beta so we'll just kind of have to jump in on tuesday and kind of see what all this is about but that's all i got for you today guys red panda day is in full swing and planet zoo is completely on board with that uh don't forget to smash that like button if you end up enjoying this video and don't forget to subscribe and come out and come back and hang right here for all of this planet zoo mischief we'll be getting into it is about to ramp up big time and uh yeah i'm s stan wolf thank you for stopping by and i'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.